Okay guys, here's my video on how I paint bases in the final part of my series of basing tutorials that would appear that I've now done. This is the main colour I use when basing. Uh, it's a grey, I'm not sure which colour it actually is, the names have rubbed off the label, but you can see compared to this, uh, the other dark one is London grey. Um, I like uh, uh, a slightly bluey grey. Uh, stops the base looking completely neutral um, just adds a little bit of character to it so I use that and the Pandrasi stencil my favourite paint um, for, the, for the last highlight uh, I prime with uh, Vallejo Grey but if I hadn't primed it uh, with that I would have used the London Grey first to, to get it to that grey colour so once I've got it in the sort of dark grey and then we'll give it a wash and you can use devil in mud or bad ad black or whatever takes your fancy really but uh, I tend to use bad ad black for the grey bases uh, just adds more to the grey feel if you wanted a slightly dirtier feel then uh, I think the devil in mud would be a good choice so we'll just liberally apply that just slap it on there's no need for any precision or overly too much care you don't want to completely swamp it but you want to make sure it's got, got a good covering okay now that that's dried you can see that all the cracks are black and the surface is a little darker than it was before now we'll uh, start dry brushing we use the uh, sort of pale blue grey that I uh, tend to use and we'll just uh, use that straight out of the pot just to get a drop down there on a piece of paper and uh, take our dry brush load it up and just brush it off until you can't really see any paint coming off it so as you can see there there's hardly any paint coming off it now on a smooth surface which is perfect for when it hits the rough surface of the base. So we'll just apply this pretty much everywhere, coming from all angles. This is the first uh, highlight, so it, this is low light. This could get everywhere. Yeah, so I just I just apply this coming from all angles, all directions. Just dry brush away until you've got everything nicely covered. Okay, now for the uh, second highlight in the dry brushing. This is just a mix of the grey and the stencil or the white, whichever you end up using. Um, this will be a little bit more care. We're just tending to do the front edges of the steps and the areas that would catch more light. So now I'm using uh, the uh, stencil and I'm just going to pick out a few, a few of the uh, cobbles on the, uh, the stone surface just to stop it all blending in together just to bring them out just to highlight a couple um, I'd possibly go over a couple once I've finished all the dry brushing and just um, give them a wash of Bad or Black or Devil and Mud, just a single uh, stone here and there, just to change the colours a little bit, just to give it a bit more character. And with the uh, stencil of the white, which I've been using, just pick up the edges and where, you, where I've cut cracks into the base. 
just pick those up. I want those to stand out a little bit more. And there we go. One dry brush place. Really simple to do. Yeah, it's just a case of taking your time and you know, don't rush it, don't use too much paint, you can always add more. But wait a second, what's this? Oh, this is a two for one tutorial! Not only do I show you how I do my stone bases, I'm also going to show you how I do a sandstone base. Uh, I believe Clarky was asking the other day how to do a sandstone base. I thought I'd never done a sandstone base. Let's have a go! So, I'm going to use uh, Vallejo model colours uh, desert sand as our base colour. So we'll just apply that to the whole base um, as our starting colour. Once that's done, we should give it a wash of devil in the mud. Same as four, nice and liberal, just get it everywhere. Okay, now that's dry, we're going to go back to the desert yellow and uh, we're just going to do a dry, first layer of dry brushing. So we we'll get this pretty much everywhere. So this will just take the main surface back up to the uh, original starting colour and see the recesses in the bed of the mud. So I don't need to be very precision here, just have a go at it. Once we've got that back up to a nice yellow colour, we'll uh, take uh, model colour's pale sand, we could use bleach bone or whatever you felt was, uh, was good. And I want to just do a dry brush highlight with that. A bit more precise, just trying to get the tops here. Um, won't get any on the underside of the overhang or anything like that. But just the tops lighten the colour a bit. And there we go, a sandstone base. Hope that helps you guys. Thanks for watching.